river flowing through wilderness. Ooh, okay. Generative expand is a new workflow functionality for you that is going to speed up your process a lot. If you have ever wanted to crop something into a different aspect ratio, if you ever needed to see more of a photo, if you ever had a photo that was tilted a little bit and you needed to fix it, generative expand is the easy way to do that. It'll take like 10 seconds. And so we're gonna play around with that a bunch today. If you have a photo like this that is tilted, and this is gonna be the base of our panoramas. The worst part of when that happens is you try to do this and then you're like cropping and then you have to like lose a lot of your photo, right? You're like scaling it to try to yep. fill the space that you need. No longer, no more. With generative expand, we can actually do this super quickly in just a few seconds. So you're going to grab the crop tool, which is C, it's right over here. We wanna change this fill. So this is really important from fill. We wanna click and do generative expand. I'm just gonna, first of all, expand this a little bit just so we can see. And when I hit enter, watch what it's gonna do. Dun, 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 dun. And there we go. And it's beautiful. Yes. Look at that. And the coolest thing is, yes, behind us, it does give us three different options to cycle through to see what works. And here is the professional photographer workflow. Grab the crop tool. So if I have default on, we're gonna do the straighten the photo and I'm just gonna straighten on the horizon line by clicking and dragging. And it's gonna straighten that photo. That's awesome. And what happened there, Ellie? It cropped it. We cropped it. We lost mm -hmm. so much of the photo, mm -hmm. which is not what we want. We want to be able to straighten the photo and have all of it, crop tool. We're going to change the fill to generative expand, grab our straighten tool and watch this. And then to enter, it is going to fill in all that extra space there. You can see there that it yeah. has expanded this photo for us. It has straightened it and filled in that extra area that was cropped. We are going to keep moving to the left. Crop to the left. I can't type in a prompt this time. Tornado on a lake with a cow. And let's see what happens. Okay. You can use generative expand with no prompt and it will kind of just expand your photo or you can put a prompt in there and yeah. it will generate something in there. I'm not mad it about it. It got the tornado and the cow. Okay. I think that that's probably the best. The cow watching the tornado. And I actually am going to use an adjustment layer here because I don't like how bright this yeah. light is. Select a color range and see if I can just select that white. Add in a little brightness contrast and bring it down. Ooh, that's giving yeah. us a lot more. Go to the right here because we need some more space. Covered wagons with a broken wooden wheel. I like that it's on That's the road. pretty awesome. I, I actually like, that like one. this one, yeah. Generative expand in just the rest of it yeah. and see what happens there. I got the edge that is gonna allow us to keep expanding there. Zoom in on this lake here and we probably want it to be pretty big. I'm gonna use just the lasso tool, make it pretty feathered, 30. Drag it in here. We are going to generative fill and let's do sea monster. Okay, I'm not oh, mad about like that sea this. monster. Generative fill only works for the area that you select. So if yeah. I selected a big area, it's gonna make a big monster and I want yeah. it to look like this. And let's do a flying alien saucer and put that in there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I like that good. one, that's cool. I'm gonna try to get the river. So I did river flowing through wilderness is what I put. Oh, I thought we were gonna get stuck. Let's keep going to the right here. I'm actually gonna do a lot. Mountain forest covered in snow, winter, and then maybe do blue and white just to see if we can get okay. some stuff in there. Ooh, okay. We're gonna go all the way to the beginning and we are going to give you an idea of maybe where we could go on the left or the right. What do we put here, just sun? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Sunshine. Oh. Uh, ooh, I'm not mad about that this. That one's cool. And I'm gonna take the fill down to like 30%. Yeah. And that will give us just a little bit of a glow there. Let's see what happens if I just put in like neighborhood of houses and see what's gonna happen and how it's gonna transition between those different scenes. I'm yeah. very interested. Okay. One house, that's fine. A house, this lighting's. A house. Okay, this is, I'm not like mad about shadow. this. Yeah, if you want to get the Photoshop beta, go over here and you can look at all apps. This is everything that's available to you in your Creative Cloud membership. And you can scroll down right here and go to beta apps. And in beta apps, you'll see everything that is available to you. If you don't have the Photoshop beta, this is the place to get it. If you need to update the Photoshop beta, this is the place to <laughs> update it. Bye.